Hello Lola's. How are you guys today? I am going to do a quick video with baby. Major. You know I always say it's major. <laughs> that's 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 his title to every picture, every video. It's major. Um so update my supplies that was coming from Bountiful Baby. Um, it's been over 30 days now. Um, they're still sitting in the same spot that they've been sitting for weeks. Um, they were in my hometown and then they left and went all the way to Colorado. And they've been sitting there ever since. I've since then sent an email and a message over to Bountiful Baby. I don't know if they're going to respond, but I'm, you know, asking for either refund or replacement i actually had to place a second order place a second order it came really fast like their orders normally do um it's definitely not on bountiful baby but you know the post office has been crazy um so um i did get my supplies so as you guys know major is supposed to be going out for hair but I just couldn't do it, so I <laughs> I waited him. So I took him apart. He was on one of my custom bodies, but I decided to um, put him on the body that he came with, as it was, you know, more petite, and so it fit him better. I tried to weigh him like he does, so that he'll fall. But he, you know, some sculpts just don't flop as much as others just based off the way they're sculpted and stuff i don't know too sometime but he's very he feels very nice i i weighted him different than i weight most of my babies um so over time he will even get more more floppy but before i did that i went in and i added some details to his fingernails inside of his hands you know, when you start taking photos of your babies and stuff like that, you start noticing little things. And I'm like, ah, yeah, you know. Um, and so I, I did that to his hands and his feet. Um, like, um, when I was taking his photos before, I noticed, like, right there was not, you know, painted enough. So I went in and I, I, I did that. And then I wanted to give him just a little bit more color on his toes. And that just made it pop. That's, you know, just little simple things. I did go in and do his nail beds and tip his nails lightly, very lightly. Because I don't like babies with, you know, fully tipped nails. Um, so anyway, he has that's paintbrush bristle. Sorry. And so... So now I'm I'm happy with him. I added him a magnet since he's going to be staying for a while. And I've decided to send another baby. I'll let you guys leave that to share when that baby arrives back. Who went out for hair. But I sent another baby. Or sending another baby in place. Um, Measure is the Sam Sculpt by Gudrun Leckler. And he is, I think he's set to be 19 inches. But he's he's pretty petite. Like, he is a very small newborn. And I think because we are so used to, you know, 19 inches and 20 inches being, like, almost 0 to 3 month size clothes and stuff like that. Um, that's why I always say you can't go by inches. You got to look at the size of the limbs and stuff. He is very... Like, to me, he is the size of a newborn baby. Um, but in the doll world, he would actually even be good for, like, preemie size. But he's been wearing newborn clothes. Um, I brought this preemie diaper to even see if he could fit it. But I don't even want to change his diaper. But I think he could even fit a preemie diaper, though. He's very... Very narrow. I'll take his hat off. You guys know he's bald, so no secret there. Um, he looks good in red, though. 
and I added him some powder wafers, which smelled so good. Look at his old, look at that wood old dang. So he's, he's all good to go. Um, see, he's a little, this, the body that they send with him is perfect for him. It's actually really, um, really narrow. So he's very petite. He smells so good. <laughs> So yeah, he can wear he can wear a newborn, but I'm sure he can slide into some preemie clothes, like onesies and stuff like that. Um, so he's a say I'm a little baby. So I got him. I turn on all my baby magnets. I started this a few years back. Um, well, I did a baby for Lachelle and she was new to collecting and she, I didn't know if she was going to need me to send her a pacifier made when she first got her first baby. I don't do that now, just FYI. But what I did was I started setting all my baby's magnets to the same, to this magnet, this pacifier. Um, I believe... This is the original. Hmm. Yeah, because I think the other ones are a little lighter. But I'll have to double check. But I'm almost certain this is the original pacifier. Which is the... Um, I have another one floating around here somewhere. But this is the pacifier that was Gabby's when she was a baby. And so I sent all their magnets to that. Um, like there are some of her pajamas that I keep. Some of her, her, you know, I have her some of her, uh, her shoe, her shoes that was significant moments in our lives that I kept. Those shoes, and they sit on her desk. Um, and we, you know, it's our first journey and, um, I keep, so I keep, and I keep some of her pajamas and like I said, in her pajamas, I, I'll put them on the baby sometime, but I remember not to ever send them out because they were hers. And so it's nice, you know, you get to see the babies with you know, her pajamas on and stuff like that. I hold on to that stuff. I just can't believe how much she's grown. I've made so many videos for you guys and deleted them. I am in such a weird way right now to where I'm like, no, 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 I can't, I can't do that video. I can't say that. I can't do this. I can't do that. And I make them and then I just don't even post them, delete them. Um, some of them I've posted and took down, you know, like I posted the role play one and I said, no, I shouldn't put that up. You know, people going to assume that I'm getting, you know, a baby that I'm not. And then I just, you know, I don't know. I just, I've just been like overthinking it, to be honest. Where is your socks? Oh, I feel them. I just feel like I've just been really overthinking things to be to be honest. That's you know, that's the truth of the matter. And I don't know. I've just been weird. But I'm making good progress on Alex's head. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see that baby with hair when she's all done. Um as you guys seen, I finished Bryson. Bryson is is traveling to his mommy um really soon and um, he's so cute. Then I'm like, I was looking at him like, oh, I don't want you to go now. You know, you know how that is. And, um, but yeah, so he's, he's, he's going 
and um and the girl alex she'll be finished soon and she'll get to go and then i'll have um finn and ashby up next finn and ashby up next and so and then i have a second finn that will come <laughs> Oh my God, that would have been a great picture, actually. I've always feared that happening. Crap. The bottle leaked. <laughs> ah. Okay, so goes for that. You really did get milk, didn't you, boy? I told y'all this was a real baby. <laughs> you really did get milk, didn't you? Oh. No, 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 no. Do I have... I don't have no water by me. Okay, I'll remember to wipe it even more after the fact. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what's going on? But that would have been a really cute picture. Like, it looked so real. It made him look so real just then. But I've never did stuff like that to my babies for photos. Oh, my gosh. Y'all know I'm like a... I panic over stuff like that. Because <laughs> I don't put nothing on my babies. Okay. Let me see. All right. Sorry, guys. Well, so goes for that. Here, get your binky. This little brat. <laughs> he was trying to get him some real milk. But yeah, like I said, um, I'm really excited. I've you know, when you start painting babies and stuff, it be making you, like, want the baby. That's another thing. It's so addicting. And I don't know which which I love more, the painting process or actually collecting the babies. Like, I feel like... I feel like I just... Sometimes, you know, just painting the babies alone is enough. And then sometimes I just feel like... Painting it just make me want the sculpt. Like now it's like I want my fan again. So I'm just weird. And um so we gotta have a, a little a, a powwow in the chatter box about these sculpts and stuff and how I'm feeling at the moment. Um because I don't know, I've been looking guys and just searching and it's just been challenging. I've been trying to find either the perfect newborn baby or the perfect preemie size baby that's not too small and not too big, that looks realistic. And it's been so hard for me and I've been really, really having a hard time. And I'm just getting so frustrated with the process um, just for searching, you know, that perfect silicone baby and that's not you know gonna break you know I I struggled back and forth like I really wanted to a I really really like certain babies like I really really like I love um Courtney I love she's like the perfect size like she's like the perfect newborn I mean, her movement, her features, everything is really great. And so I was looking at her and I was like, dang, man, I just wish I could. But, I, you know, I have to keep reminding myself. I keep reminding myself, girl, you don't even make that a year. <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> like, you know, so just too much going on right now. Um, a lot of transitioning, a lot of stuff I'm thinking about doing you know, major steps, milestones I'm wanting to cross in my life. 
and I'm like, I can't, I gotta stay focused. So it's been challenging. It has been, but um, I'm gonna stay straight because um, I know that either I'm, I'm going to find the perfect kit that I can paint myself or I'm just going to let it go and just stick with my the partials and um, the reborns. So, um, cause I think here's where it is. Hang on, we'll come back to a second video.